100 Years of Radioactivity, Marie Curie's Enduring Legacy Marie Curie is one of the most famous women in science, but her exposure to radiation had fatal consequences. How radioactive is she today? Her name is synonymous with scientific brilliance. Marie Curie is remembered today for her pioneering work on radioactivity, which not only earned her two Nobel Prizes but also the recognition as the mother of modern physics. But while her research into the radioactive elements polonium and radium may have secured her a lasting scientific legacy, those same substances have also had a lasting effect on her body. Marie and her husband, Pierre Curie, pioneered research into radioactive elements, isolating polonium and radium. Their work illuminated the hidden world of atomic energy, a force both wondrous and dangerous. But in the early 20th century, the true extent of radiation's harm was unknown. They worked tirelessly, often without protective gear, handling radioactive materials directly. In fact, if it were not for Curie's work, our treatments for cancer would likely not be anywhere near as developed as they are today. Marie Curie's dedication came at a devastating cost. She ultimately succumbed to a plastic anemia, a condition linked to prolonged radiation exposure. But even in death, the radiation she worked with remained. When Curie died, her body was so radioactive that, sh that she had to be laid to rest in a lead-lined coffin. However, no one knew this until 1995 when her coffin was exhumed. At the time, the French authorities wanted to move the Curies to the National Mausoleum, the Pantheon, in honor of their contributions to science and for being icons in French history, when the exhumers approached their grave, they detected normal levels of radiation on the air, which then rose as the grave was opened, though not by large amounts. At first, Marie Curie's coffin appeared to be made of wood, but when opened, they found it was lined with 2.5 mm of lead. Later examination of Curie's body revealed that she had remained remarkably well preserved and only small levels of alpha and beta contamination were detected. This, according to the Journal of British Society for the History of Radiology, was likely because Curie had taken steps to limit exposure to radiation in later life. It's not just her remains. Her notebooks. Her personal belongings, even her furniture, all retain significant levels of radioactivity. These items are stored in lead-lined boxes, and researchers must wear protective gear to handle them. Imagine, even now, over a century later, her notebooks are still too dangerous to touch without special precautions, given that this particular isotope has a half-life of around 1,600 years, it is likely that these important documents will remain a harmful reminder of a powerful legacy. Her story isn't just about scientific triumph, it's a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of safety and understanding when exploring the mysteries of the universe. The glow from Marie Curie's work, both literal and metaphorical, continues to illuminate our understanding of radioactivity. It's a legacy that demands respect, caution, and a deep appreciation for the pioneering spirit that shaped our world, what other scientific pioneers have left a lasting impact. Let us know in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more amazing science stories.